Hi everyone, it's Bev DeBono and I have a great technique that I really want to show you. And it is using two really cool items. One is the jumbo wavy square pattern. This was a re, uh, reboot from um, old creative memories, this jumbo wavy square that we use with our cutting mat, but they added a jumbo square frame to that. So now there's one that has that squiggle line on the inside. So today I'm gonna to be using the one that's on the outside, um, the jumbo um, wavy square. And I'm also going to be using the Sunflower Fields collection, which if you haven't seen it yet, it is drop dead gorgeous. It has the gold shimmer cardstocks. It's got these beautiful packs of beautiful sunflower papers and pages, beautiful, beautiful fall colors. I just love it. And I'm gonna be using this hero paper or this very busy pattern tonight um, to do my uh, design. The collection also has the pack of stickers, the mats and the sunflower fields, these uh, die cut embellishments. If you wanted to add ABCs to this, the two that would match very well are the brown and the green chunky ABCs. This one is called What a Zoo and this one is called Tropic Time, but they would go perfectly with this collection. So I just wanted to show you really quick, there's some really beautiful pages that you can make with this collection. Um, these are just so pretty. And these are from the papers in that collection. And I just love them. You see the beautiful sunflower border, this pretty sunflower flower there, and then um, another one. So it's just a really, really very, very pretty collection. So today's technique, and a technique is like a formula that you can use over and over and just change up your papers so that you get a different look. And I wanted to show you before I started that this is the technique that we're doing, but look how it looks, just changing up the paper. And this is tropic time. So isn't that pretty? It's the exact same technique, the exact same thing that we're doing. So let's get started. We are going to need that big template and your obviously your cutting mat. And I'm going to need two sheets of base. So I'm gonna need two base papers. For this, I'm using the gold shimmer for my base. And you see that nice sheen to that. It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna be cutting into this very busy sunflower hero paper. It's an overall pattern. And then I need a couple other uh, pieces of cardstock for some mats. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut our busy paper or our sunflower paper or any other paper that you're going to use using this template. Now with this template, you wanna make sure that you have your paper totally centered in the, on your cutting mat. And sometimes with a paper like this, you wanna make sure that it doesn't move. So I might wanna put just a little bit of repo tape, just a dab on my four corners and then put it on my cutting mat because it will wipe off with your thumb, but it just gives it a little bit more stability. Very, very little. And it's repositionable tape that you're using for that. Now what we wanna do is take our jumbo template and center it exactly in the middle of the paper. And then we're gonna be cutting with our blades. 
we are going to be cutting with the red blade on the outside and the blue blade on the inside. You have to do the outside one first. So we're going to start with the red blade. Now make sure that this template doesn't move. So a lot of times I put my whole arm in there um, just to really hold it down. And I'm going to start probably um, right around here near the top. And if you have the new blades for the cutting system, the new blades are ergonomically correct because they have a swivel here so that the blade actually turns and it makes it easier for your hand um, to, to guide the temp, the uh, cutting the blade onto the template. Okay, so we're gonna insert the two bumps. I call it the bumps into the groove. On the outside, the red blade. And when you're cutting with a bumpy pattern like this, take your time because these bumps are not something that uh, is, um, you know, we, we usually are so used to doing circles and ovals that sometimes a different shape requires us to think about how we are using the blade. But with that new blade, the blade itself is swiveling. You see my hand is, my actual wrist is not moving that much. It's really my blade that is moving because the blade itself has a swivel. Okay, so if you don't have these new blades, it's really a great investment um, because the blade um, actually swivels itself. Now, once you have cut the outside, hold down your template, do not move it. And now we're gonna see if we cut all the way through. And it looks like I did, because I went pretty slow, but sometimes I always get a little, oh, a little whisker there. Okay, so keep holding down your template. And now we are going to use the blue blade on the inside. And this is just gonna make a nice rounded square. And again, it's the corners that might be a little, take a little bit of the nesting. Oh, I just tore my paper because I need a new blade. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up here and go around. And you can tell when your paper starts tearing, it may mean that you need to now get a new blade. No worries, we'll cover that up. Okay, once you have that cut, now you are able, you have three pieces. And let me cut that out because I had a little issue there. No worries, it's all gonna get covered up. No mistakes in scrapbooking, right? Now, one of the easiest things to do with this template is to just put together um, and just flip your pages, I mean, your pieces, and put two on the outside and one on the inside. And just like that, that's a really cool page. And, you know, and once you get it decorated, this is with a different uh, collection, but once you get it decorated, you see it's, it, it makes a beautiful border and one that you can um, enjoy. So this is the quick, um, you know, one page idea, but we are going to do a two page idea with this. So our idea is going to be that we're going to take the our two pieces of our base paper. I'm using the gold shimmer. And I'm gonna take this middle piece that I cut and that is now going to become the piece that goes on the left. And I'm going to now put my other piece 
here. And um, here's a trick. If you are going to, um, let, let's take the little pieces of, let's just wipe off the little repo tape that's on that paper. So you can put your outside edge on that and your other border here. And already you have a two page spread. But I'm gonna do this a little differently. I'm gonna take this inside piece and I'm going to, to actually put it at the six inch marks. But I'm also gonna do a little twist with the tops, uh, the top, top corner and the bottom corner on this where we're gonna flip it in. Okay, so it just gives it a little bit of a, a difference. So I'm gonna take the bottom corner, line it up on your, I'm lining it up on my, on my mat, and I'm gonna to go to the four inch mark on the bottom, and I'm just gonna bend it up. And I'm also gonna go to the four inch mark on the left and bend it and have that bended piece come together. So you see what I, I just bent in like that. I just wanna make sure I did the four inch. Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing at the top. I'm gonna to take the top corner, top right corner, bend it in at the four inch mark and just make a crease. And then on your side right, bend it in at the four inch mark and make a crease. So now this is what you have. So it's a very cool idea and we're ready to tape it down. So I'm gonna get my silicone mat and I'm going to use my repositionable tape, tape down the outer edges. Hold off on taping down those bent sections until we get the outer edges done first. It, it's a little bit easier. This just gives it a little difference. I just love doing something that's just a little different. Okay, now we're ready to put our frame down. And I would start with your outside edge. and then do a top edge and then do a bottom edge and then another side edge. So way, way cool. And now to get tape on <clears throat> the other side of your little flaps here, I'm just going to use a piece of uh, wax paper or parchment paper, and I'm going to flip it back over to the sunflower side, and I'm going to put repo tape on that side, and then flip it, flip it over. Don't worry if it's not exactly um, a square because it's going to get covered up a little bit with that inside piece. Okay, and now you're ready to place your inside piece that we cut. And you see it's got the rounded corners, which I love. And I'm placing that, I'm, I'm actually just centering it at the six inch marks on the top and on the sides the six inch marks on the tops and on the sides. And we're ready to tape that down. Oop, I gotta find my little place where I had a little, okay, and put some extra tape on that and then see where I'm gonna cover that up. Yep. Okay, so center it in your six inch marks. And there you go. 
And then the mats for this are five by five. So if you wanted to put some mats on this, um, I would recommend a five by five. So let's just cut some five by fives, just two of them. Two five by fives. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna round the corners. Now the new corner rounder is really cool because you get two corners for the price of one. The regular corner rounder, you remember you just put it in this way and you, um, let me just hold it in my right hand. And you get a regular round corner. But with the new corner rounder, when you flip it around the other side, there is an opening here on the blue markings and you can put your paper edge in there and then line it up to the middle of the screw. And I drew a little, for me, I drew a little uh, black line with a Sharpie, the middle of the screw here, the very middle point, and just line that up. And you see it does an inward. Okay, an inward cut. So that is really cool. So you get not just the regular corner rounder, but you also get the, the inward. Okay, so for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, four, we're gonna round all four corners with the regular corner rounder. And they're just gonna go just right in your center there. And we're going to overlap them in the middle. So I'm going to do this quickly. Just overlap them in the middle. And you know, probably lining them up about at the six inch mark, making sure they're somewhat centered. Okay, and then you can add a nice sticker in the middle. I'm also going to put a little title here up at the top. And this is a cute little title there. And I wanted to put a little embellishment down here on the bottom. And so I'm going to use a mat from the actual mat pack. I'm going to cut it and then just try to cut. And I'm gonna round the corners on this also so that everything is nice and round. And that is going to go right here on the other bottom. So you have a very quick and easy page um, with the technique. And also it's one that has a little twist to it, which is always fun. So I'm putting the other sunflower down here at the bottom with the words together in the middle there. And then to the left side is feeling left out. So let's create this page really quick so we can get two pages out of one. Now, if you wanna use the green side, you can. I am going to continue with the sunflower theme. And where's that little piece that I had have to cover up here. And place that centered right in your middle. And if you want another, um, some more borders, we're gonna cut, I mean, some more mats, two four by sixes and two three by fours. So you can do this all from the same paper, or you can do, uh, I am using two different colors. 
just to give it some interest. So I'm cutting the six two six by fours, and then I'm going to cut uh, two three by fours from this one. Three by four by four. And round your corners, decorate, and you are done. So this would end up looking like this. Overlapping on the side, you can make a nice title. Here on the left, I've got You Are My Sunshine with the sunshine flowers, the sunflowers. So there you have a two page, um, your two page spread. So this is that pattern in the sun, sunflower fields. And this is the same technique using Tropic Time. So I hope you enjoyed today's technique. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Bev DeBono Designs. I think I have 90 videos up there now. And um, I usually post one every week. Thanks again. And I hope you join me again soon. Bye-bye.